Hi there, welcome back. So let's talk about STL files. Now in the previous video where we addressed the last the method, the string wrap method, but I also mentioned something about STLs. So I want to mention something about those STL files. The first thing is that I don't recommend you to use those files. Okay. So probably you are used to that. And this is talking to the open phone community. Okay. Because all the snappy experts use the STL, but it's using a proper meshing tool. It's not recommended, but you can use it. Okay. And usually you, 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 these files appear when you are dealing with, uh, dirty geometers okay just to show you something so when you are importing the geometry the stl you have to be careful or you have to be aware let me go here that you have this option here okay so see that you have some tolerances and the default value is certain so if you import this stl with that default value this is what you're going to see, okay? So it is important the geometry, but it's constructing the topology as well. So it, you don't have any more, okay, that triangulation of characteristic of the STL file. Just to show you, let me double click here to open another tool just to show you. Probably you're already aware, you know it, but. So if you go and view, okay wireframe and this is it so see that this this is the actual triangulation of these stl files okay so these files is not very many they are not very amenable to work with okay it's just a triangulation and using the triangulation you try to to capture the geometry instead the proper cat files you have some mathematical equations representation of all the shapes okay to capture everything so sometimes this can be problematic and they are not easy to to, to, to repair or to manipulate. Okay. So let's see what happened here when you're, you're important that one, see that everything is perfect, but you don't see any more that triangulation. Okay. So now it has been converted and this is the power of the you know, <coughs> geometry kernel in, 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 in all of that. It will convert that one. And, okay. And it is easy to manipulate. Okay. Sometimes difficult STLs. Okay. will give you problems. Okay but then you can fix all so those problems using this stream wrap method not but not always work okay so let's import another geometry or the same geometry but see what happens that the same geometry and if i increase this value let me put here 170 okay so this is equivalent addressing again open phone community this is a, a equivalent to those surface features or feature edges in para view and so on so let me import that one with a large value and what is going to happen is that see that here i select the face and you have it all there and see that it didn't find it didn't find that edge there okay we're missing that edge there and maybe some other edges are going to be missing in your geometry Okay, so you're going to get problems fitting the, the mesh here, like exactly the same, like in, in a snappy. So what you can do to fix that problem. Okay. When you are importing, be careful to import with a low angle. So the lower this angle, the more features are going to see. Okay. 30 is usually a good value. Don't go too low because you're going to see all the features. Now you're going to see all these lines, all this stuff, and that is difficult to control. Okay, so, but in this case, if this happens, what you can do is that you select here, your body, and see that you have this option, create fit or edge. It's going to ask you for an angle, similar to the same angle that you have importing or the one that you see in part of you. So usually search is a good value. And then see that, voila, you have all your features there. So now it's going to resolve properly your feature same concept that you have in a snappy x mesh okay but here is everything is done automatically and also it's constructing your faces separating everything so you can assign selections very easy okay and just to show you again is import a geometry here and let me go here and import mesh let me put 30 so if you import as mesh you are going to import the actual triangulation see that you have it there so this is the actual triangulation that is going to, that in OB is going to see as a mesh. Okay. You see that you have it mesh. Then you can convert it to geometry again. So you see that here you have geometry to mesh or mesh to geometry. In this case, you can go mesh to geometry 
or geometry to mesh in this if you get a geometry so you have the options there then you can right click and see that you have export to stl okay but want to say is that here you can manipulate this file so see that you have mesh edit option and you can manipulate your surface or volume triangulation okay so you have the option i don't recommend to to do it because it's very local okay probably in this small mesh is something that you can do large measures so you will be concrete but it can be done okay but for this mesh nothing to do okay but just to show you those options so let me go back to this case let me go meshing and let me do a surface triangulation okay apply okay and actually no, this is not the geometry i need to open the dirty geometry so better stl dirty everything it's okay let me put here 180 let's let's see probably will crash who knows okay so you have it there it didn't capture that edge there and see that also when importing didn't capture an edge here okay so remember to fix that problem you just need to okay go you go here and you can create your feature edges in this case i'm not going to do it i just want to show you the problems some problems so in this case there to geometry what we need to do is use this method okay didn't work i need to define here the values let me go back and be careful also with the dimensions in this case the geometry when it imported see that now half this scale was working in millimeters so let me define here and i think 100 and 150 are acceptable values or probably let me put 20. i want to do just the surface and i use this method okay and there you go so see what happens here that you don't have the feature edges see that it doesn't resolve the topology so i hope it's clear here that now you don't have any topology underneath here and you don't resolve that exactly same problem that you have seen in in the snappy x mesh for the open phone community and see here that also you didn't have that edge and you are not capturing well that edge okay so that is one of the issues that you have there so to fix that issue you can go back to the geometry and see that remember here you can extract those feature edges that angle is okay and see that now you have an angle there and see here that now you have it also here but it didn't close the loop so that is telling that probably that angle needs to be reduced so let me put 30 and there you go you have all your edges see that now it has been split automatically okay and let me go there and there you go okay so see that now everything is as it should be resolving those features okay so now let me close that geometry as well because i want to show you something let me right click delete mesh so let me cl close this loop i will press e key and create face so i press e just to select edges you press f just faces so or you can just select everything so you can control your selection geometry selection here so be careful i'm working in the geometry okay so let me close this hole also so you can clear, close it automatically you can select the edges so let me go like this so you can select the four edges and you have the create face from edges or there is the option let me erase it remove okay yes select the face and you have an option there fix hole in face but see that probably it's a beast hole feature but see that it's not resolving very well there so i need to track that one but i in this case i will be tempted to say that this is not b so this is the actual geometer because we have the actual stl we, we have an stl file but now you have this hole here but let's do the mesh and see that you have it there so as this method is full tolerant okay there is no problem there but out of curiosity okay so i always go off a script i don't have an script so let me try now this one mm, 
Yeah, probably was be something visual. Okay, I don't see any problem, so I will track that. Okay, so let me erase there. Let me go here. Okay, I have that, and you have this hole here. And how do you close those holes in the STL? So this is cool also because you have some capabilities here that you can manipulate your files in, 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 in your triangulations or your surface meshes in Innova. You have this, so if you have nasty STL, you can manipulate it here. So there are some other tools, okay, in a way you can use Blender or your CAD tool, Fusion 3D, okay. Uh, you used to do that space because you can do it, but also in Innova you have there, you can close holes in your mesh. So let me go here and convert it to a triangulation. And you have there, theoretically, you have a hole there and you just can start selecting faces and try to close there. So see that you have some options that you can, okay, create mesh, project nodes and so on. But in this case, I don't want to do it manually, but I hope you got the idea. What we want to do it is automatically here. Okay, so previously we work in this, I say that I know uh, that, or remember that put a large value here and close that hole, but now how we can do it automatically. So you have some local options for this string wrap method and see that you have it here. So you have here the get close tolerance. So this is the tolerance. So you say that any get or hole that is larger than in this case, 200 millimeters will be closed. And let me put here a refine, and I want to use a refining factor of two in those holes. So let's see what happens, the effect of this. So see that I haven't changed anything, but now I'm putting a tolerance in holes and see that automatically the hole was closed. So this is the advantage of this you now string wrap method. When you have dirty geometries, you can put tolerances, you have gaps and stuff like that, edges, and you can resolve that automatically. Okay, so let me put a factor of four there, and where you have those holes, it would try to put more and it didn't do it. So now let me triangulate there, and you have your triangulation, and everything is smooth there, everything nice. Okay, no, no big is no issue. So this is the idea, and see that you fix automatically holes and so on. Also, you have this. This hole there, you can put a large value there and it will start to close since, but you have to be careful. So since that I wanted to show you also, for instance, you can smooth your mesh repair since. Okay, so let me go here and actually let me go and put uh, here because I think I may, okay, it's close. Let me put 100 here. Okay, so we have this, let me go and put 50. So see that now the surface meshing is independent of the hole. So here you control all the surface and then you put the tolerance there and everything larger than that will be closed automatically. So in this case, it does a nice job, but if you have curvature, well, you have to be careful. So it's not going to be very nice in curvature, but see that now what we have here. Okay, actually talking about that. So it tried to close, but it does something, okay, you get there, but that might be a problem, okay? You don't want that, you want something smoother. So just to show you how you can select some faces and manipulations here. So we're in the mesh, and just to point out, let me con convert also to the triangulation. So sometimes when you convert to the triangulation, you fix those problems, okay? So imagine that this can be an STL, where I'm actually working in the geometry level. So you can export this triangulation, you go here, mesh to geometry okay and then you have the mesh there and you can save to as an stl okay so if you want to save that feel free uh k yeah i lost let me redo okay And there you go, you have, so it's a slightly different the mesh, okay? So apply different algorithms, different values, but, okay, so see that, for instance, you can improve this, okay? So you can select faces. So see that now you can do faces selection, so let me press F, and you can manually, you press Control, you can select manually like that, and then you can apply any of these operations. Here you have something that makes it easier, you can grow like this, or, make it smaller, okay, or a little bit. 
So let me set it here and grow a little bit there. And now in this phase selection, I want to apply whatever. So let's see what happens. I can smooth the mesh. I have this. Let me apply 10 and see that clearly you can see that after smoothing it's doing something. Okay. So let me increase again a little bit. Okay. And smooth. And let me do now 100 iterations. So this is the way to do the local mesh smoothing or manipulation. So in this case, I'm doing surface. You can do it also in the volume, but this is tricky. Okay. Uh, it's better to have a good meshing tool that it will give you a good mesh the first time. For instance, now you have this here, a split mesh and see that you make it finer there. And now as you apply a smoother there, likely it's going to get more better results. So let's smooth here. As usual, you may see it's larger, it tends to, to work better. Okay, so this is a little bit mesh manipulation, how you can do it, okay. Here, well, some problems capturing there, but also you can do some manipulation, trying to fix there. But generally speaking, you see, these are the issues, the small issues that probably you are not used to, or probably you are used to, and you say, okay, for me, this is fine because I've been working all the time with open phone and that's what I get. But when you use a proper tool, machine tool that can see all the topology, this shouldn't happen. Okay. So at this point you can do your mesh. Okay. You can do everything. No biggie there. So let's go and okay. I have everything there. So let me do the topology based methods. Okay. And Okay, this is also suffering. Okay, so I can see clearly here that there is a problem now in the STL and extracting that feature edge, but it's better than than the other case. And actually, see that in this case, okay, it's smaller the hole that you see here, but it's a better result. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you, you know about the STL file. So be careful about that, but also have in mind that when you read an STL in Innova, okay, behind that, there is a geometry kernel that is converting everything and extracting the topology. Okay. Whatever geometry you read, it will try to extract all the topology. Okay. So just to show you again, go there and automatically will try to convert the topology and you have everything available. Okay. Much better than having no that triangulation. So that's all that I wanted to talk to say about STL in next videos we address we will address some some other advanced options. See you later. Bye.